there was a saint in India called Fakircha. He is a very controversial saint because he made statements like the saints know nothing. They don't give you anything. They just happen to come into your life as a trigger point for you to find them inside. And then you see those same saints inside and you think they are giving you everything. And he would say, we give nothing. Nobody ever gave anything. You find it within yourself. He said he got initiated by a master who taught him how to meditate and withdraw his attention and go inwards and have great views. He said, I withdrew my attention. I meditated like nobody's business. I thought this was the most important thing in life. And I meditated. And I heard sounds inside, which they said is called the shabd, is called the sound current, the real form of your soul. I heard the sound. I heard, saw lights which I've never seen outside. I saw colors. I heard such sound which they say comes from a true home. I saw everything. And people would think you got a lot. I got nothing. Because all these things were outside of myself, not me. I did not discover the self. And the real thing was to discover who you are. I never discovered that. I only discovered when people began to tell me that I'm appearing in their meditation. And I said, how can they appear in my meditation? I am here. How can they appear? Then I closed my eyes and all those experiences made sense that I am looking at the experience but not the experiencer. The self is the experiencer, not the experience of any kind whatsoever. Even internal, even the highest experience is only an experience and not the self. When we want to find the truth and go to our true home, you have to find the self, not the experience of the self, no matter where it is. He made a very good point about it. We make the same mistake. We start by making a mistake right from the beginning. Third eye center, we have to sit somewhere and locate it. People sometimes locate their third eye center by imagining that they are sitting in the head in front of them. Little piece, because head is small. So when they meditate, they close their eyes and they see a little picture of themselves. That must be third eye center. No, maybe it can move a little. Don't they realize that whatever you are seeing cannot be you? You are the one who is seeing. Not the object you are making. This mistake is made so often, so frequently, by so many meditators in every country I visited that I had to come and tell them something very simple. I said, when you make a picture of yourself, you can never make it inside. Said, but we make it inside. I said, let's try. Let's figure it out how it is inside. And they give a simple demonstration of how you can find out that these images you make, no matter what, are always outside the physical body. You don't make any image inside of it. When you make an image and you see it in front, no matter how close it is to you, you can do a simple exercise. That now with your hands open, with your eyes open, you can touch your eyes, you know where they are. If you close your eyes, you can still touch them where they are. You're conscious of the location of your hands in relation to your eyes. You're always conscious of it. It doesn't require any effort to touch the eyes, whether your eyes are closed or open. Now, close your eyes and see that little self of yours. Then bring your hands slowly towards your own self. And when you bring them, when you have not even touched the eyes, you will have crossed that image of yours. You can try it any time. The image is outside, not inside. Just because we are closed our eyes, it doesn't come inside. Who are we looking for? Not that image. We are looking for the one who is looking at an image. That's ourself. And we miss that point. He was a great saint that who pointed this out, though he kept on saying, I know nothing. He knew the most important thing, that we have to search the self, not search what the self is experiencing. And that is why we sometimes go wrong in our entire spiritual experience because we get fascinated by some internal experiences without ever having known who is having the experience, which is the self. The discovery of your own self is a secret to discovering the totality of the self because the self is not separate from totality. It's just an experience within the totality to see what actual love as an experience can be, what knowledge as experience can be, 
for joy and bliss as an experience can be, they were degraded within the total.